Dan Bjorkel and Lana's technical agronomist, and we are really north of Clutera and south of the Waterloo area in Blackhawk County, and just doing a survey on August 11th of several fields at various maturities, various high reds, and various amounts of disease like tar spot, southern rust, uh, some bacterial leaf streak. Uh, we found uh, some northern corn leaf blight. It's just crazy with the way this year has been. So we're going to do some some surveying. I'm with JC Wilkaplath, an individual that works on our Sky Scout. So this is 1185. Yes. Yep. Okay. And you can tell that with this big long main spoke that they got. I think it's about 12 inches. And we don't have any silks out now, but usually they're light pink. Um, so, going to take a look at here, and when we find something, we'll come back. Then we're in another field here over north of Clutaire. And they're whispering, but they can actually talk because we can always edit. <laughs> there we go. Um, so what I'm seeing here is tar spot up to the ear leaf. A little rust, but not much. Way, way better than what we saw in our last field. As far as disease on this one, and this one is at R5. So it still needs 30 days. So the question of the day, and it's been the question of the week, I'm at R5, does it pay to spray? And my answer is, it depends. Depends how this progresses. We are, uh, we're still looking at this field with bacterial leaf streak, which, you know, we can't do anything about that. Obviously, because it's, a, you know, it's a bacteria, but... There's quite a bit of tar spot. In these plants, uh, pointed right here. Here's another one you can see. Quite a bit of tar spot. Um, this corn is an R4. Come at that And very, very impressive ears. Yeah, so very impressive ears, but you know, this this needs 30 to 40 days. So we definitely want to protect it. It was sprayed once. Okay. Southern rust is not as bad here as in some fields. This is a wetter field. We are seeing some physoderma, which could cause some harvestability issues. This could be a good trial for an R5 fungicide application for the fact that we don't have a lot of data on it and it might start paving the way for future agronomic decision making. I love that idea to do a test out here. What do you think, Mr. Sky Scout? Disease pressures here. We've got a nice cool drain fill period coming up. I mean, all the potential in the world is out here. You just got to protect what's made. We're in a field of um, uh, BL4J45 Bravant. Um, this is a white cobbed hybrid that was absolutely fantastic a year ago. So we're looking at the yield potential um, of this. Uh, it's it's got um, it's starting to dent, so the early R1, uh, planted, I believe, the end of April. Um, 104 day uh, looks really, really good. The one thing that I am noticing on it is we're seeing some bacterial leaf streak, which we also saw in the 08, which shares a common female with this with this white cobbed hybrid. Um, a little bit of southern rust in here. Um, see, I'm not noticing much for tar spot. Maybe just a little bit in the lower, in the lower canopy. But this genetics is usually pretty good with tar spot. 
But here you can see here is just below the ear leaf. Um, we're seeing some, some southern rust. So the question that we have is do we hit this again? This was hit once with Valtima. Do we spray it again uh, uh, to protect it? Uh, that is the question with this uh, potential uh, for, for yield. Um, we still need about 30 days with this, so we want to keep this corn alive definitely through September, September 10th. So we'll keep scouting this on a weekly basis. Dan Bjorkman signing off.